Hello, this is Michael John. Today I'll be reviewing the Stato Alto 3. And over here we have the USB-C and USB 3.0. On the other side you have two USB 3.0s, one display port, two HDMI's, an Ethernet, and a power adapter. Now on the bottom you have um, four screws, which I already took off. All the screws are very long, actually, as you can see right there. And let me take it off. Now there is a cable connecting, and since this is a two terabyte drive, it's quite thick. So as you can see, it's quite thick. And uh, this um, <clears throat> this actually has a Celeron 3865U CPU, eight gigabytes of RAM, and it has two terabyte drive, as I mentioned. It is 64 bit. I'm not sure if this is DDR3 or DDR4. I'm assuming it's DDR4. It has an M.2 SSD slot, and I believe that's some kind of uh, you know, PCI slot, expansion slot, maybe for Wi-Fi or something like that. Um, as you can see here, you can screw it in right there and right there. Um, I was able to install the latest version of Ubuntu on it. Uh, it did have the Dato um, software on it when I bought it, but I uh, wiped it because it had a password on it. <clears throat> Otherwise, there's not much else to discuss. Uh, I'm not sure exactly the method in which this is normally used, but uh, it is a... Uh, I guess relatively slow machine if you would want to use it for other things unless the processor is replaced with another processor and I highly doubt that you would be able to. So I've got over here an M.2 SSD that it fits into the slot however it does not fit into the retaining screw and therefore I can't screw it in. Well I just bought this from eBay and it's actually an M.2 SSD extender. I guess we want to cut it just around there. Just crack this right off. Turn it over, screw it right in, and there we go. Now I'll try to fit this guy in again and see what happens. Perfect fit. Now you just have to screw in the retaining screw, and you're all set to go. Obviously you should be a little more careful with this because it is a little more fragile. So I actually uh, added some RAM and it's DDR4, and as you can see Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi are now working. Um, I just put in a Bluetooth Wi-Fi card. I'm using a universal power adapter because I don't have the original. And they could probably have Windows installed. I hope this helped you and have a great day.